Hello friends, welcome to Nigira Techies. In this video, we can talk about asynchronous actions and how to make API call in Redux. So in order to, we can fetch the data. So finally, I'm going to display in our application, okay? So first, I'm going to create the required files. So first one is component. So image gallery, this is my component. So next we can create the Redux files. So let me create one folder. Image. So here we can create three files. The first one is for action. And the second one is for reducer. And the final one is for our action type, okay? So next we can install some required packages. For making the API call, I am going to use this Axios and also the Redux thing. So let me install the packages. npm install Axios and the next one is Redux thing. Okay, the installation gets completed. We can verify. So in this package section, see this Axios and also this Redux thing was there. So the next thing is we can include this Redux thing in our middleware. Let me go to my store section. So in this middleware already we have this logger. So after that I am going to include this thing. Okay. Okay. But it is not coming. We have to include it manually. I mean import it manually. So let me include it here. Okay. And let me save this one. Now let me go to the reducer. Here we can define the initial state. So it is the offset. So as I mentioned, it is having three properties. The first one is loading. The initial value should be true. And the next one is data. So it is having the MTRI and the final one is error for showing the error message the default value is empty okay so let me save this one and next we can move on to the action type so in this action type we have three action types okay the first one is so the first action is making request so so we can give the name is fetch image request. And the next one is the success scenario. So fetch image success. And the final one is the failure scenario. So let me include it here. And we can save this one. And next in our action side, we can create the action creators. So the first one is fetch image request. So it is kind of function will return the object. Okay. And the type is fetch image request. So let me save this one. And the next one is success scenario fetch image success. But it is having one parameter the data. So again, it is also returning the object. So instead of this image request, we can use the success, okay? And the additional property, we have this payload. 
So here we can pass this data, that's it. So we can save this one. And the final one is failure. So the input is error and the type is fetch image failure and in this payload we can pass this error information okay so now our three action creators are ready now let me go to the reducer section So this one also a kind of function so it is having two inputs the first one is state so we can pass our initial state here and the second one is action and here we have the switch statement action dot type then let me check the cases so the first one is fetch image request so this is the initial state so here I'm going to return the initial state and also I'm going to make this loading as true and in our next case for the success scenario fetch image success so here first the loading should be false and the next the data data should be action dot payload and the error value is empty okay and the finally for the failure scenario so in this failure also the loading should be false and the data should be empty array and again this action dot payload should be added in our error section okay and this default it is returning the state now let me save this one and also I'm going to export this one then only we can use in some other places so next let me include this reducer in our store okay so in this store already we have two objects one is the bat and the pad so that actually added based on my last examples so here I'm going to include the new item okay image list equal to our reducer okay it is imported from the image slash reducer okay so we can save this one and next let me go to our action once again I'm going to create one more function okay so this is the function will return the another function and it is having the parameters dispatch okay so initially we can dispatch our the action of fetch image request okay and the next uh, we can call our APA for that as I mentioned we can use this Axios okay let me import it here Axios.get and our API URL 
so for the api i am going to use this json placeholder okay so, so if you have your own api you have to use it otherwise we can use this free fake api okay so here we have the lot of items so i am going to take this one photos so this is the get request And here we can dispatch our next action creator fetch image success so it is having the parameters the response dot data so the data we can pass it here okay and next in this catch, I mean the exception scenario. So here we can dispatch the action creator of failure on fetch image failure. So here we can pass this exception message. So let me save this one and also I'm going to export this one okay because I'm going to use in some other places. So as of now we have completed for the Redux action, action type, reducer and also in the store. So now let me going to make the changes in our component. So in this image gallery I'm going to make two functions. So the first one is map state to props so it is having the input is state so it is going to return the data image list and state dot it should be image list I believe anyway let me check in the store yeah it is the image list only so we can use the same one here let me format it under the similar way, I am going to create one more function. So that is for map or dispatch to props, okay? And the input is dispatch. And return fetch images. And dispatch of our main function that actually we have defined in our actions okay fetch image list so let me import it there I'm in the top of that fetch image list And finally, I'm going to use the connect option. Okay, it is not coming. So basically it is available in our uh, React Redux. So let me import it here from React Redux. Connect. So here I'm going to pass these uh, two functions map state to props and also map dispatch to props okay okay this is fine and uh, so in our component we have this props as the input so next in our component I am going to use this use effect hook from react so this one also kind of function and we can set the empty dependency okay 
So here we can call our dispatch function fetch image. That's it. So let me save this one. And in this content section, so I'm going to check props dot image list. dot loading if it is like this we can say it is loading next the props dot image list dot data I mean not a data we can first complete this error okay if you have any error messages so we can display the error here okay and finally it is the past scenario so here I am going to have one div tag and the header it says image list Okay, here actually I'm getting some error. Okay, it is saying the fetch image is not on function. So let me verify. Yeah, in our map dispatch to props function. Yeah, this is actually a function. So then I have to use like this. So let me refresh the screen. So slightly we can see, right? So the loading and it is replaced into image list. And in our state we can see we have around 5000 record so that's what the API all about so if you noted here so in this photos API endpoint we have the 5000 record so that's what we are getting here so let me extend this one we can take one of the record yeah so we have all the items like album ID title and this URL so what I'm going to do, let me bind this in our application, okay? So first we can have one conditional template. And I'm checking. And then image list dot data. If everything is the positive case. Okay, here we can use the map option. So here we can bind the title. Also we can have one image tag in the source. So it is not just a title item dot title okay at the same time we can get this uh, I mean URL so let me save this one okay initially it is saying loading after some time it is fetch all the records and then displaying in our application so we have this title and then images so around 5000 records so everything is binded here so in this real time scenario we may load in the tables or kind of list but anyway so this video i am mainly focusing on fetching data so that we have completed okay and still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel in my next video, we can see one of the interesting topics. Thank you. Thanks for watching.